Folks, welcome back. I've been wanting to do this video for two months now. Finally, Topps Chrome. I have not opened a Topps product of anything since I was like a teenager, man. So to be able to actually do a MetaZoo opening that's actually by Topps, what a cool crossover, man. And every, like, I think I have one case of these boxes left, which is like maybe like 12 or 24 boxes. I don't know what a case was. And uh, these sold really, really well. And even now, these are still, they're, they're very stable. You can't get them at a discount or a premium. They're, they're just pretty much like $100 booster boxes. Are these considered booster boxes or tops? Anyway, Spencer, Spencer C. Thanks for being a very kind patron and allowing me to have my first MetaZoo. Tops Chrome box opening. So we're doing two of them today. And I am so pumped. Because this is the thing that has all the parallels. Like the alternate versions of these things with different, like, I think different framework or borders or artwork or something. They have insanely hidden versions. Like, oh, wow, that is so cool. Look at that store display. Man, you got to give them credit, man. Tops really knows how to make a nice display. So, yeah, like, I even went on eBay. No joke. Like, I want to, remember, these are not playing cards. These are not game cards, by the way. Tops Chrome is more of just a collectible card thing. These are not game cards or anything like that. And historically, uh, almost all of the Topps Chrome Hollow stuff, they all curl, and holy smokes, those are shiny. Okay. Wow. Okay. So in typical Topps fashion, they do have the Pringles curling. So I'm assuming these are all base set cards. I'm gonna learn as I go, folks. Holy crap, the chrome on these things is out of control. Hey, look at the Frogman. Okay, so that has a different silver framework on it. Is that like, an? are they numbered? So these are a normal base set. Okay, so the red has got to be the normal base set. Jeez, there's so much reflection on these things. And they typical, they, in typical Topps fashion, as with most Topps cards, they do bow. Um, okay, so that actually has a hollow sticker to it. So does that have... Um, are these all? I'm trying to learn as I go, folks. So I'm assuming the one card in the middle here has got to be the... God, look at the bowing on these things. Holy smokes. Good old tops, right? They put so much reflective chrome on these things. They definitely have, uh, they definitely have a curl to them. All right, so... Okay, so obviously the... Oh, my God. If you just touch them, your fingerprint is, like, embedded in the card. No wonder... Oh, my God. Okay, so i got to be really careful touching these things. All right, so you get the holy sm Dude, these are way shinier than I thought they'd be. And there is our, our hit. Okay, so in the middle of the pack is our hit each time. God, that's all you get from tops? Holy smokes, you don't get a lot of cards. Are any of these, these are not deemed, okay, so that's a silver. So these are not deemed. Okay, so these are not serialized or special. So the red cards are the normal, I'm assuming the normal set. So there's, that's not like a special subset or anything. And I guess per box, are, you, are we supposed to get like one major hit per box? <laughs> Hodag. I like it. Wow. The quality of these things. And Ghost Deer. Dude, the amount of reflect. I guess that's why I call them Topps Chrome. So, godly. Hey. It's so crazy because I remember Topps cards. In like in my Marvel days in the 90s. I remember them, the super hollow ones would have a slight curl like this. I remember them being super shiny. It's exactly what I remember a Topps Chrome being. I swear all their cards are like this, man. God, look at the camera reflection. Holy goodness. Hellhound and Mothman there. So we have not, we were just hit, we're just hitting regular hits here. We have not hit any. Dude, I can't even get these on camera good. The, the amount of reflection on these cards. I can't even I can't even get the camera to capture this with you guys. Oh, wow. That looks really cool. Look at the yellow swirls on that. If I miss anything crazy, tell me. Joint Snake. And I'm assuming this one middle card each pack is our kind of rare hit. I can't even move this. It's like stuck to it almost. I don't even want to damage it. So we still haven't had any serialized or crazy cards. And, of course, Sasquatch. So... We are looking for, I don't know if you're supposed to have like one major hit per box. I'm not really sure. How many packs are in here? 
So not a whole lot. Tops doesn't. They, the Tops has always been skimpy, man. So Tops has the normal. Okay, so that's what's in a box. So I don't know if you're supposed to. Are we supposed to have like one major hit per box? Dude, what an experience! All right, so let's see what we get here. So Snakey Man. Let me move these. In. I don't want to touch these that much because the fingerprint. They're so sensitive to fingerprints. <laughs> the night crawlers that artwork always gets me it's just two pairs of pants it just <laughs> uh we we do things serious around here folks we do think ooh ooh look at that blood ruby wow okay and again i'm assuming it's just a regular framed one over there hey sam sinclair oh yeah this pack has some really nice ones a beast of busco and that's so we we are not we have not found anything crazy power of red so we have not found, are we guaranteed anything? Hold on, what's the box say? Are we guaranteed like a, like a certain pool rate per box? No, it doesn't say anything, okay. I thought Topps always guaranteed like one, like one pack or one major hit, like one signature. Was it Topps or am I thinking of something? Am I thinking of like Don Russ and like platinum premium different, a little cut on his head there. I guess just a regular car, it doesn't really matter. Whoa! Okay, okay. That seems like something different. Okay, this pack with order is a little bit different here. So that is a rare rainbow wizard. That seems like a pretty... That one looks different than the rest. And this, Young Power. Wow. Okay. So that's still... Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. So I just noticed this is card L1 compared to... A, it does not have a normal card number on this back. So that is considered, that's got to be some sort of insert. That is a normal card number. So that one did not have a normal card number to it. Okay. Because like I saw online, like on eBay, like people, dude, there was a, there was like a, go on eBay. Hit Metazoo Tops Chrome. There's like a $40,000 card, like sold on eBay. Like some outrageous flipping card, man. Some serialized out of five tops chrome thing, man. <laughs> Just insane. And there's a bunch of other crazy cards that people have really pulled from this. So that's why I'm wondering, like, I want to see what we get. So, so far, we don't seem to be, the cards are beautiful, though. But we don't seem to be getting any uh, crazy chase hits. So that's a normal card 36. And, of course, the ghost bear over here. So the this one slot in the middle... Is your rare card, I guess. And I noticed the rare card is always like a... Or at least the, the parallel card. There's a cut mark on that one. At least it's not a... Wait, wait, wait. We got something. There's something going on here. We got something going on here. What is this? What is this? Cryptid. We got a camera. Cryptid camera. Flatwoods monster. What is this card? What is this? So this is a, this is a subset. Sick. I'm trying not to touch it. Flatwoods Month 16F. It is not serialized, but that is a definitely an insert chase card series of something. And then the, 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 the Spookster. And this is also, that's a normal card. So we have two different inserts. Holy cow. How many packs and boxes would you have to open to even get a whole set of this stuff? Chapter 2 cover. Ooh, that's neat looking. Is that a normal card? No, that's an L6. That's another weird one. Okay. Um, Hel Kentucky Hellhound, you're a normal subset card there. Okay. All right, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. Okay. All right, we're almost done with box one. I haven't seen, I don't feel like, ooh, okay. Old Green Eyes over here. That's a normal card, just a parallel. And, oh, I thought we had a signature or something scribbled on there. <laughs> I was like, whoa. So those, I think, I'll have to double check to see if we missed anything else. But I feel like those are the only ones we've hit so far that have a different card number. Funeral. That joint snake looks fantastic on that top chrome. So those are the only ones I've seen that have, are not part of the normal set. But I don't think they're, there's not, they're not even serialized. And, uh, Pudwudgy? There's our parallel. And, God, the, dude, the chrome, no wonder they call this top chrome. The amount of reflective chrome on these things is outrageous. Whoa! Okay. Okay. That's different. Metazoo Battles. Is this a subset card? B6. So that is a subset card. And then we got our snow. 
parallel. So we've got, we're getting some subsets, but they're still in the normal red framework. So I don't think any of those are deemed like super, super insane. Hoop snake. And of course our nice little parallel there. And oh, that Loveland Frogman looks fantastic. All right, folks, last three packs of box one. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if you're guaranteed anything or not. It's just, and once again, the Chibi Mothman. And that is just a normal parallel. And of course, Rudy's running away pants in the middle of the night. By far, the best card in the set. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, here's something different. We got something. Childhood's End. Oh, look at that room. That looks really nice. So this is definitely... L2, so that's another, so that's got to be part of that series. Okay, so are these both L series? So L2, L1, okay, so that is the same subset. So, oh, wow. Dude, that's really, and it's like little scenes. That's my favorite one so far. I like that the best. It's got like detailed rooms of like the, I don't know, <laughs> when he was younger, I guess? There's a MetaZoo battle again. So that's got to be the B. Yeah, B2, so the battle series. And then, of course, we get our normal... Okay, so that's it. That's all we had in box one. So we had these, but see, this is the only one, but they're still red. I don't even think that's, like, considered 16F <laughs> artist poncho. Good old poncho. I feel like these are, this is by far my favorite series, though. This, like, childhood series, like, I don't know, oh my god, that's the best. Look at the art on that. That's fantastic. It shows, like, the series. Dude, these would be great to be great. Now, this is a set. That should have graded cards. Like this is a series that definitely should be graded. Because of how sensitive the corners and things are. So alright. So I'm going to carefully move these. This is a really. Like I don't want to nick any of the corners. Because I don't know if those parallels or chase cards are really anything special. Or if we didn't get anything major in this opening. I'm going to put that aside. Alright. So box two. Alright. So I may have to tell the patrons. Um, to con We may have to do some more box openings of this. I want to see some serialized cards. Okay, box two. MetaZoo Top Scrum. Here we go, folks. Alright, come on. We gotta. So now that we have a better idea what we're looking for, I can go a little quicker. We know what the base set cards are. And pack one, <laughs> the cactus cat. Alright, so we know what we're looking for now. So we're, we're a little more educated. And at least now we know the red border is kind of the base set. And then we got our parallel silver border set. And then, of course, there's the subsets of battles. Uh, I don't know, the growing up scene. I like those scene series, though, man. And, of course, we're obviously, we want some sort of serialized anything. Whoa, 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 we got something. We got something. We got a nice Georgetown. What series is that? L3. So that is one we have not seen yet. Giant Salamander. And, of course, the old Metal Man of Alabama. I always think Metal Man of Alabama. I always think uh, Bender from Futurama. All right. Here we go. No, no. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> An alien astronaut. All right, all right, come on, here we go. Good old top chrome, man. Still looks and feels the same. Whoa! Whoa! What is this? Holy smokes, we got a chaos. Is this serialized? It is not serialized, but we have probably the best card in the set. Wow. That is beautiful. Well, Spencer, I mean, I, I, that's, that's gotta be a bit, that's gotta be the best card in the set. Chaos Crystal has to be, like, the best, I mean, that has to be, and that's in the parallel, too. That's silver parallel. Okay. That's, whoa, 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 oh, MetaZoo Battles. Is that the, uh, B what? B1, okay. So we got MetaZoo Battles. <laughs> we got the old cold man. Alright, so no serialized cards yet. Man, I want to see what serialized card looks like. I want to get something crazy. Ooh. Oh, I love to see these scenes. This is by far. Look at the MetaZoo. Now, can you get these in parallels? L10. Oh, L10. Okay, so there's quite a bit in that series. I thought it was only like two or three versions. You know, of course. Good old Uncle Sam, everybody. Dang. Like, okay, so my brain is going, how many boxes would you have? What is this? A moon-eyed people. How many? Ooh, MetaZoo Battles. Okay, that's one. If we had that one, B4? I don't know if we've had that MetaZoo Battle card. Shadow People. How many of these? How many boxes would you need to open to get full sets? 
Is it even possible? Like, we haven't had a single... Or I, heard, I thought there was, like, other parallels with, like, different color frames and stuff. Have we just not hit any? Growth. Hey, Babe the Blue Ox. Very nice one. One of the more iconic Mezu cards. So I thought there was, like, blue and orange and, like, green, like, different parallel series. Ooh. Oh. What is that? Ooh, that is cool. Topps Chrome Radio Silence. That's got to be another one of the L series. L8. That's the best one, man. And then Killer Clown for the uh, Parallel Series. Okay, so every pack... Hold on. Let me make sure I got this right. So every pack, you get a Parallel. And then about a couple times per box, you get some of these Insert Series, is what I'm gathering so far. And Joint Snake, we've already had you. So these Insert, these little subsets. And the only Parallel we've seen is the, is the Silver Border Parallel. <laughs> Squonk, very nice. So we have only... God, look at that Hoop Snake. That looks good. Dang, man. Beautiful cards. So the, this is the only parallel. I thought there was like green and blue and orange. Am I wrong? Like I haven't seen any. Oh! Oh! Okay. Alright. Cryptic camera. Beautiful ghost train. So... Okay, another subset card. Not serialized or anything, but 22F. So definitely one of these. So you, do you get one of those per box? Hey, frozen people. Ooh, Loveland Frogman. Dang, okay. Well, I'm kind of disappointed we're not getting any of the other crazy stuff. I'm hoping for something to close here. Hey, Mr. P-Bird. There you go. There's a nice hit. Especially in the parallel slot. I gotta go on eBay. Like, I, I encourage you all. I'm gonna, after this video, I'm gonna go on eBay and see what the prices are of some of these chase cards or insert cards. Ooh, Basquatch. So again, normal parallel. Not anything crazy. Dang, man. Two whole boxes. Um, I didn't see any serialized cards. Nothing, man. Or <laughs> Slide Rock. There's a nice Uncle Sam parallel insert. And, of course, the beautiful Jersey Devil. Well, folks, four packs left, Spencer. I don't know if this is good or bad. I feel like this is just a normal box. I feel like this is just considered a normal box opening. Because we didn't really get anything crazy. River Dinos, just a normal parallel insert. And uh, last three packs. Come on! Some other parallel? I thought there was a bunch of different parallels. What is that? Tripotero? <laughs> and Ben? <laughs> and Hide Behind. Not the best hiding place. Hide Behind. See, I thought there was... I kept thinking there's a lot more parallels. Unless they're so rare, you just can't get them. Whoa, okay. Power Up Red. Just a normal insert there. And, of course, Salem's Witches. This is it. Last pack opening. Dude, we gotta do more. We're gonna have to do more of these. I wanna see what else there is. Ding bell. I might end up cracking my only case I have. Okay. So, final conclusion. So, red bordered Metazoo Tops Chrome are normal cards. Um, that doesn't seem like it'd be difficult to get a complete set. It doesn't seem very valuable. That seems very normal. Uh, so, the silver chrome border, this seems like the parallel insert set. So this seems to be the parallel insert set. Now, in, within that, every box you seem to get one cryptid camera ghost or one cryptid camera shot. In this one, it is the ghost train. But this one, and the, of course, you seem to get two to three battles in each box, which are gorgeous cards. <laughs> I already know the comments. The comment section is gonna be like, Rudy, I think these cards are way more beautiful than the normal MetaZoo cards. Like I feel like that's already coming. But this. This is my thing, man. They're like battle scenes, man. Buildings, architecture, characters, like live action. That is, so these battle scene cards, these are these level or layers. Georgetown, artist, so these are all done by Poncho. This is where it's at, man. Holy smokes, these are awesome. Those are my favorite. All right, if you're a patron... Um, we, we're going to have to do some more of these. I want to do some more Tops Chrome. we got to see what else is in this series. Um, all I heard online was serialized... Are they, are they on the are they on the wrapper? Does it tell us? It's got to tell... Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Approximate odds per pack of finding sequentially numbered parallels. 1 in 93. Green. Gold. Orange. Black. 
One out of 1,800 super fractors? One out of 9,000? Lore cards. Oh, those are lore cards. L. Bro. First, wait a minute. Super fractor, what does that say? One out of 530,000? Okay. There's a lot of hidden stuff in this game. All right, if you're a patron, uh, same thing. Contact me. We need to do some more of these. Um, instead of doing two boxes, I think we need to probably do three box opening. We need to ramp this bad boy up. We need to. I want to. I got. A, I got a case of like 24 of these things left, dude. We got to crack them all. We got to find something crazy. I really enjoy this, man. This is such a throwback for me for tops. I know this isn't technically meta through CCG. These aren't game cards, but man, these cards are fucking beautiful, man. These. I think these. I personally. These I these cards are better than the regular MetaZoo cards. Dang, man. I did not think I was going to like this better than the regular MetaZoo cards. This is nuts, dude. And these lore cards? Oh, God. Awesome, man. Spencer, thanks for being a very kind patron. Everything's heading your way. I guess these were just normal box openings. A bunch of parallels, lore. Um, I did no idea... Those fractors and crazy things. Dude, let me read that again. Gold. So there is green, gold, orange, black, and then super fractors. Oh my god. One and a half a million and one and quarter million packs. What did we just open? 50 packs? 24 packs each? All right, folks. All I got. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a beautiful day out there. So much fun. I, I really enjoyed this. Have a beautiful day.